Haben wir denn sonst noch irgendwas hier unten? Scheinbar nicht. Kann man ja mal hochgucken gehen, was da oben noch ist. Boah, ziemlich hell hier. Mit der Lampe. Die Anderson-Brüder in den 70ern. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson Farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Okay. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Na. Ah. Somit ist klar, was äh, ansteht. Oh, der Tourplan. Ja. Der Tourplan. Na dann. mein Freundchen. So nicht. Wow. So schon mal gar nicht. Nee, Güte, was ist denn hier gerade los? Was ist denn hier gerade los? Kann ich aber dann auch gerade die Batterien holen gehen. Und hier wieder wie die Bekloppten reinstürmen. So. Wieder 20 Batterien. schon wieder Ach, ich bin mir auf den Sack, weißt du das? Stirb endlich! Lästiger Drecksack. Gibt's hier links was? Natürlich nicht. Wäre auch zu schön gewesen. Den Strom hier wollen wir nicht reingeraten. Das tut bestimmt weh. Ich hab doch grad... Alter, gehst du mir auf den Sack.
Hey yo, Barry, was geht? Boah. Okay. Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show the door going. Was barred from the other Cinco. side. I'd have to find another way. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. Hey. Oh. Doch schon Schritte gehört. Ist auch einiges an Shotgun Muni. Wow. I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? Vor allem bei einer Plantgranate. da draußen so Strom Aha da mal wieder eine von diesen geilen Leuchten, was man die vorhin übersehen hat. Hochleistungs Handlampe. Ja, das ist genau dieselbe, die wir jetzt gerade haben. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff, which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Okay. Whatever. Wir haben ja schon volle Batterien. I could see the building that had to be the Andersons home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Weg. Let's see. Okay, der Rest ist so ziemlich voll. What? Got to be kidding me. Ach komm. Oh. Fuck.
Lauf. Yeah! Oh! Kann das jemand überprüfen, ob das stimmt? Oh, werden ja fast so viele Menschen, die es gibt. Wobei, stimmt doch gar nicht. Ich laber scheiße. Schade. Komme ich da jetzt rüber? Hier durch? Oder was? Scheint so. Sonst noch irgendwas hier? Was brauchbares? Nee. Also die Tür öffnen gehen. Ah, uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. Hey, let's go, man. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. Nice. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. Yeah, was passiert This noch. farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Irgendwas passiert da noch. Ich trau dem Ganzen hier nicht so. Come on, one more gate. Let's do Bam. this. Bam. Hier ist ein Motorsägebaum, alles klar. Old Gods know the truth. Alte Götter kennen die Wahrheit. Klingt auf jeden Fall interessant. Was haben wir hier noch? Die Hütte wird abgestützt. Okay. Hier hinten ist nichts. Nee. Hier ist nichts. Hier außen. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Oh, voll nice. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Wo komm, wie komm ich dahin? Yay, Thermosflasche im Bad. Noch eine Thermosflasche. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Hm? Mm? Das Geheimnis der fehlenden Woche. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Come on, Al, let's get the lights.
it on, huh? Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be... What's her face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right! Must be! Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, you're like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never Alice? turned the lights off. Alice! I remembered thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. <sighs> I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? 
Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it Alice? behind you. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I am here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my wife a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. Had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. There's an old town road with mystery of town the poet and his muse, and a magic lake which gave a life to the words the poet used. The muse she was his happiness And he rhymed about her grace And told the stories of treasures Deep beneath the blackened ways Till in the stillness of wonder And still in its misty crown The muse she 
she went down to the lake and in the waves she drowned and now to see your love set free you will need the witch's cabin key find the lady of the light gone mad with the night that's how you reshape destiny Destiny. 